It's April the 23rd, 2013. We're in Tulare County, and this is one of our Thompson seedless raisin grape blocks. Uh, this year I think he's grown for juice, but uh, can be used either way uh, for that variety. Uh, recently we applied Ultra Grow soil treatment and Thioplex uh, through the drip lines. And what I'm doing today is just see what our bunch count's looking like and how it's developing. Bloom is not far away. And so what I want to do is just get a feel for what kind of crop load we're setting up for. Uh, this year is looking like it's going to be a big crop. And so it's always a good idea to just get some idea. Wow, these are nice. Get some idea what to prepare for uh, in order to adjust your fertility plan and budget. One thing I'm seeing right away is that we've got real nice sized bunches. And that's encouraging. When bloom occurs, they'll shatter the bunches a little bit to try to thin them out. But more than anything, we just want to make sure we've got enough food. Wow. That is really, really nice. We just want to make sure we've got enough food out here to support this crop. Because if, if we run short, then we'll have a problem. Tentatively, we're scheduling after the shatter spray to come in with some nutritional sprays in the foliar applications as well. Uh, we'll use our tissue analyses when we get those back from the lab. We'll use those to guide us as to what, what we need to apply. But as you can see, we've got really nice vigor. These are nice bunches. Good growth and good crop. Wow, that's really, really nice. Impressive. It's got really good potential. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Potentially, this looks like a really good crop this year. And so it's a matter of um, not falling asleep at the wheel and having a plan in place to get that crop to market. Because these kind of years don't come along very often and you want to take advantage of it when they do. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you and I thank you for watching.